And good old Danny Dimes. And not much because he wasn't asked to do much. Um, Skip, they uh, as Jenny read, they, they turned it over to the guy, and he ran the ball 27 carries, a buck yeah. 26, uh, three touchdowns, and he had three touchdown runs of 20-plus yards or more. Mm. You don't see that very often. You don't see a guy rush for that kind of yardage and have three touchdowns in excess of 20 yards. So that lets you know they were running the ball very, very effectively. Kyler Murray, you know, 14 or 21, he was slightly above 100 yards on 21 pass attempts. So that just lets you know he was really, really managing the game. And the thing, if you're managing the game, managing the game, yep. the last thing you can do is turn it over. Hmm. He did a great job of that. Okay. The mistake that Daniel Jones made, yep. he turned it over. Okay. They sacked him eight times. He turned it over. Daniel Jones turned it over himself three times. They got that, but they fell behind 17-0. Skip, when you fall behind 17-0, what a lot of teams will do, it'll take you out of being able to run the football because Saquon was back for the first time in about, mm -hmm. what, a month. So he was back. So it really took him out of the equation because now you let Daniel Jones throw, throw, throw. And what he did, pick, fumble, they getting after Chandler Jones, T. Sizzle. You see Sizzle starting to heat it up. Baltimore could really use him mm -hmm. right about now because he still mm -hmm. could get after the quarterback skip. And so that's why I'm saying if you take Daniel Jones and put him on the other side, and let Chase Edmonds run the ball like that and say, son, we don't need you to make any dynamic plays. And you take Kyler Murray and you put him behind that porous offensive line to Giants. Because we've seen, Skip, when Kyler Murray, when he struggles, he doesn't get the protection and they can't run the football. Mm. So he did, he did what he was supposed to do. He didn't put the ball in harm's way. He, I mean, didn't do a whole lot on the ground. But I, I, I don't think enough goes to the quarterback, Skip, when... We only grade quarterbacks if he throw like an Aaron Rodgers. He has that type of day. But sometimes, if he doesn't put the ball in harm's way and he just manages the game, he doesn't in, 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 uh, interject himself into it. Well, I'm the quarterback. I'm the number one pick. Let me throw this ball. Let me show you what I can do. Mm -hmm. He didn't do that. Hand the ball off, boom, boom, and he get out there with a win. And mm. lo and behold, what they won, two, three in a row. Mm. Ta-da. So, Tada, you forgot to mention the key fact. Jenny actually did mention Which one? it was in a driving rain yesterday yeah. at Giants. Yes. Yeah. Driving rain. Yeah. It was the same kind of rain that turned that Washington San Francisco game into a mud bowl. Yeah. Right? I, I hate to play in the rain. Fair enough. I, the coach would be like, come on, come on, 84, catch the ball. I'm like, hell, I'm not in the gym. Do mm. you, you see what's going on out here? Thank you. It's hard. Yeah, Thank it you. is hard. So they just had to shut down the passing game, mm -hmm. and he did become a game manager, and he did only have 104 yards passing because right. they just didn't try to throw a whole right. lot. And I was impressed that Cliff Kingsbury, fresh out of Texas Tech, uh -huh. who just loves to wing it all over the yep. lot, said, yeah. you know what, today, no, That's good. we're not going to do it. And to your point, Kyler Murray looked like a seasoned pro to me <laughs> because he just said, well, I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to try right. that. And he didn't do anything stupid. Okay. Did Check take down. a couple of sacks yep. that he probably shouldn't have taken, but he tries to make things happen. But here's what I loved about Kyler Murray yesterday. He set the tone for this game because they did have eight conversions on third and fourth down. Mm -hmm. But early on, and by the way, seven of those eight were by Kyler with his arm or legs. So here's the opening scoring drive for the Arizona Cardinals. Third and five at the Arizona 30, Kyler Murray threw for a first down to Larry Fitz. Third and six at the Arizona 46, Kyler Murray threw for a first down to Clay, his tight, veteran tight end. Mm -hmm. Fourth and three at the Giants 35, he hit my guy Sherfield, Trent Sherfield from Vanderbilt University for another first down yeah. conversion, and they go in and score seven to nothing. Right. And I think they discovered somebody yesterday named Chase Edmonds. And guess what? He's Kyler's size against the quote-unquote Giants from the New York football <laughs> Giants. Two little men, and they're both little yeah. men because they're both about 5'9". I know they give Kyler 5'10", barely 5'10". We're used to seeing running back small. Yeah, I know. We never see quarterback like, like Okay, but, but they're the same size. Yes. They're both like 5'9"-ish, 5'9"-and-a-half-ish, right. yeah. and 2'5", two 2'10", two somewhere in there. Kyler was 2'7 at the right. time. So, so they're the same size guy. Okay. And little Chase Edmonds, a fourth-round pick out of Fordham two years ago, mm -hmm. I loved his patient burst because he wasn't running like a, a first or second year guy. He he would wait, 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 and then hit the hole yeah. with like pew, mm -hmm. shot out of a cannon right into the end zone. 
And I love to watch him because I think together they could do some things in this league. I like how they complement each other. You see what's happening, Skip. In five start, Daniel Jones have 11 turnovers. There are some teams, there are a few teams in the league, Skip, that they're good enough they overcome turnovers. The Giants are not one of those teams. Mm. They're not good enough that they can overcome mm -hmm. his bad play. Yep. And what we're seeing is that you notice you hadn't heard uh, Pat Sherman come to the mic and say, hey, which I, was, I, I know we thought of him. That's why we selected you. He ain't said anything like that mm. lately, huh, Skip? Mm. Okay. Let it play out, Pat. Mm. Come on, you've been around the game long Let enough. Let it play out. It, 11 turnovers, Skip. You can't overcome that kind of play. By the way, that's already tied with Baker Mayfield for the most among quarterbacks in the National Football League. Aha! And that's that didn't guy. Take long. You, yeah. you, 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 can't turn, you can't turn the ball Ooh. over because your team is not good enough defensively or offensively to overcome that kind of bad play. Yep. Give Kyle and, and, and Cliff Kingsbury. Skip, and, and the thing is, I, watch, I was watching some of this game yesterday, and they tried to go three tight ends, and they couldn't move the ball. Mm -hmm. So he said, scrap that. Mm -hmm. Let, I'm going to run the ball, Skip, from mm -hmm. the formation. I'm going to go 11 personnel. Yep. And run the ball. And they ran the ball better from 11 personnel than they did from Jumbo. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kyler right. Murray did a great job. He didn't get in the way. He didn't let his ego, I want to throw the ball. I want to mm -hmm. prove everybody that I can mm -hmm. throw the ball. He's like, nah. Mm -hmm. Why, why would I want to run the? Why would I want to throw the ball when y'all can't stop this little man running the football? Yep. Stop that, and then we'll talk about maybe mm. me throwing it. But you allow so, eight sacks and three turnovers, you losing. Aha! Uh -huh. So maybe that nickname, Danny Dimes, was a little premature. Sure. And I'm sure somebody's used this in Giants Nation, but I, I'm thinking they are going to start calling him Danny Dams, as in <laughs> Damn Danny. Right. That's no. like, like there's exactly. another one. There's well, another one. Well, Dimes, he right. can change. Right. Chump yeah. change. Yeah, chump change. That's right. That's <laughs> Cause, a lot cause, of Because right now, Skip Bayless, he playing, he, he's not playing good. He's not playing well. You can't turn the ball over. And he starts to have that look, what I tell you about that underconfident, overachiever that's look, because that's what he was when he wound up at Duke. He's unrecruited coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. And, again, am I impressed with his size and his speed? Yes. And every once in a while he makes a throw where I say, ooh, that's pretty right. good. I mean, they bring, and they, they threw a lot, and that's what you do, Skip. They threw a lot at him. They brought, yeah. they brought you saw Pat Pete come off the edge yeah. and he hit did. him in he his back. Him good. <laughs> and yeah. hit him in his back. And yep. they have several opportunities to get more interceptions. Yep. This could have been a huge, this could have been an hey, eight sack, hey, five or six turnover day for hey, him. How about the touchdown throw to Rhett Ellison? Do you remember this in the first quarter? It was his best throw of the day, quote unquote. Yeah. Tell me, if we could see this play, tell me Buda Baker shouldn't have come and picked this. Like, what's Buda Baker yeah. doing? He just stops. Trying to get a, well, he, well, he thought it was going to be overthrown because he's playing for the pick. I know. It's, it's yeah. like the Dude. weirdest play. But what are you doing, Buda? Just yeah. go up and get your hands on the ball. He's just sitting back that there. Odd. Yeah, like he's it, playing for it, It's really an ill-advised throw to start off with. And Buda just stands there. back there and just come play the ball, man. Go blow him up. Yeah, go blow him up or go blow the ball up or <laughs> something. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. But now Kyler Murray has won three straight games, mm -hmm. albeit against bad teams. I give you that. But Arizona, we thought was a bad team, yeah. right? Yeah. So now they've won three games including, or not including, but the, that the on tie. top of the tie. Right. The tie was on opening day against Detroit. Detroit's pretty good. They're not great, but they're pretty good. That right. was at Arizona. But still, Kyler's off to a pretty great start, Dang. wouldn't you say? Yeah. So I would like to show something that happened Saturday night because I immediately tweeted about it because it just really linked up to me in my, my subconscious. How about the walk-off shot from Jose Altuve a little, a little that, that sent Houston to the World Jeez. Series? Look at this. Off, off Chapman. He got a roll to Chapman with this ball, and he just jacked it. And to me, have you ever seen a little man hit a ball harder than no. he routinely hits balls? Mm -mm. I mean, all the Yankees are saying the guy you don't want to see up at that point is that little man. Yeah. I and and I immediately tweeted about uh, Kyler. I said, if Jose Altuve can do that, Kyler Murray can be a star NFL QB. Yeah. Such clutch power for such a little man, talking about Altuve. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, Kyler is that guy. Right. He, he's that little man with some stature, right. he's stout. And, and again, he ran around all day yesterday. Not once did he take a threatening hit to me right. because he knows how to protect himself. He does. And he's so quick, he can get out of harm's way quicker than you can inflict it upon right. him. Yeah. The, uh, the Cardinals, um, I did not envision them having this type of record at this point of the season. I thought they'd win probably three or four games throughout the entirety of the yeah. season, Skip. I didn't see this the first half of the season, them being, what, three Three oh three three and one. Three three and mm -hmm. one. Three three and they one. They only had three wins last mm -hmm. season. Right. So this um, is a progress. But you know, man, San Francisco is better than we thought, Skip. Yeah. 
Okay. The 49ers are better than we thought. 49ers are going to be good. Well, and the Rams. I think New Orleans is better than we thought. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, no, no. we thought New Orleans was going to be good, no, but I mean, we thought they'd be good with Drew Brees. We didn't think they'd be playing this good with Teddy Bridgewater. Ooh. And Drew's thinking about coming back. That's going to be, ooh. Yeah. What do they do, Skip? Yeah. That's going to be a very interesting. What does Sean Payton do? Yeah, by the way, to finish up on Altuve, that means the Astros play the Nationals in game one of the World Series on Fox tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Mm. Boy, that's going to be some yep. itching. Woo! Frostburg, yep. Sanchez yep. against those big three, yep. Cole, Verlander, yep. uh, Greinke. I'll take Altuve's team, just me. Seriously, Because no. they, they complete those. The celebration that team, of that? Because they can, they can hit and they can pitch. Ooh. I ain't, I ain't rooting for the Astros. They beat my Yankees. No, mm. I ain't. I'm, You're done? Nope. Okay, all right, well. Rufin, no. How you, you, think, you, you think I'm going to root for them when they beat my team? To face, I embrace, debate, I don't make mistakes, I just make my case. Drop spike right when I'm done, what more can I say? Not bite to my tongue, I don't like the taste. I'm on in the morning, I own my phone, and I'm always in a zone. Need a zone, out of zone, and then we can get it poppin'. Pick the topic if you want to skip it, shall it skip it, hop into these sports and men and pop it. All right, undisputed. We are live from L.A. I'm Jenny Taft here with Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. Good morning. Good morning, Jenny.